All right, guys. Uh, what's Gucci, everybody? All right, so today's video is going to be about the uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi behind the scenes. BTS, I am excited. I wanted to wait a while and then do, like, just a reaction and talking, like, afterwards and stuff. Because it dropped a few days ago, I believe, or like five, six days ago, almost a week ago. So, anyways, I am ready to check out these behind the scenes. Maybe some Easter eggs or something like that in it. So, let's get to it. Gosh, I'm so excited. Ready, set, go. Oh, this. Oh, let me. This, the stage is. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hold up a second. Let me. I think my volume is low. Yeah, it's at like 50%. Like, what's up with that? All right. So, all right. Oh my gosh, the stage and the props that they make. I heard lightsabers in the background. I love it. Oh man. Every, all the props and everything. Oh, that looks awesome. Episode 8. Yo, is that like red sand or something? That's probably from the from the um. Oh, Ray! Ray! I love Ray. Yes, I love this cave in the canyon and stuff. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Leia, General Leia. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna have a Twizzler. Oh, he still has his helmet. Oh. Stage props. Everything about movies. Ooh, new creatures. Oh, that looked like an awesome. That looked like a wolf or something. <laughs> Can't even learn a rookie sound, a Wookie sound. Ryan Johnson. Yes. The, tra the training. Oh my gosh, Prince is lit. Oh, Carrie Fisher. Oh, and these new creatures and everything. Oh man. Oh wait! Hold up! So many new creatures. And then it looked like. That looks like they're infiltrating. Yo. Yo. Oh my gosh, her new outfit. Oh, Carrie. Oh, Carrie. I guess I got... It's a wrap. Oh my gosh. Carrie Fisher, like... When she said that at the end about family, I... Instantly, like, got chills and started choking up. Okay, now let's go back a little bit. I just, like, honestly, I just love seeing all these stage, like, props and stuff. That's why I love movies. I actually, I really want to eventually get into special effects in, like, stages for, like, movies and stuff. I, because it, it just looks like so much, like, it's a lot, a lot of work. But it looks like so rewarding and so much fun to see see all the uh so let me go to see this this scene I'm wondering what it is like a well it's like a bird that went by my window or it but um I really like this whole scene or is this, is this I don't think this is a new planet or anything or is it I don't know but it looks amazing. 
See these, these uh, the red, um, that looks like red sand or something. Or something's exploding. And it looks like the place that, um, where all those walkers from, like, the, um, that teaser trailer. Where those, like, things with the red smoke were going by. It definitely looks like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then, and then the, oh my gosh, Ray with her long hair. And her new outfit at the end. Oh my gosh, I, I love Ray so much. She's becoming one of my favorite characters. And I can't wait for this scene. It looks like it's a, a watery cave. Like, it reminds me kind of like, I want to say, in, uh, where is it? Huh, where'd it go? Oh, right there. Like, for some reason, it reminds me of, like, an underground, like, cave slash oasis. And maybe it's, like, very heavily, like, force-sensitive in that area, which would be, like, freaking amazing. So cool. And then you got Finn, my boy, looking out. So I think he's just waiting for, uh, for something. And then this shot with, with Mark Hamill and Ryan just chilling out right there, talking, probably talking about Luke's character and everything. And then this is uh, in the uh, right corner. That's definitely Ray. I don't know who that is. And then Carrie Fisher. I love the outfit that she's wearing. It just look. It's so simple, but it's like a big, like a uh, drench, like drench, not drench coat, but like just a big like robe, and it looks so. It just looks badass. And then, and then I think this is probably probably one of the first scenes of the movie that's going to happen with uh, Ray handing Luke's or Luke's father's lightsaber to him. It's going to happen there. Boom. And then there's some more shots of uh, the island by, hold on a second, by uh, Ireland, that, that beautiful island. Oh, my gosh. And then there's going to be, like, is this like a, a new city that we're going to see? This looks like... Where is this place? This looks like like the Greece or Spain or something. The buildings. Oh my gosh. This is just so awesome. And then you see uh, Kylo with his helmet. He's probably going to break it during the movie. And... It's just so many people. And then there's this explosion... In the, uh, probably the Resistance base. The Resistance hideout or something. Oh my gosh. And you got Ryan talking to... Oh, General Leia. Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, my girl. I am happy, though, that she was able to finish, uh... One last piece of, uh... Movie. Uh, art. Or, like, her, um... Her lasting, uh... Her, her final, like, um... I guess, like, movie... Or like big, uh, uh, what's it called? Big, um, gosh, I, it, I'm like forgetting about it. Like, oh, like her last like big project was this movie, and she actually did finish this movie. So I'm really pleased with that. Cause one thing in that I'm actually scared of is actually uh, my biggest fear is dying without doing the things that I want to do and like I want to finish and she was able to finish this movie so she definitely has probably no regrets so that's a good thing and then you got Ray with her staff uh she looks like she's just in like training clothes or something like that it's like a white shirt and everything and then oh my gosh and then these and then these new animals or these new creatures that thing looks awesome it looks like a giant oversized like I want to say like a odd looking bunny, but when I look closer at the face, it's like a donkey, like hu it's like a human and donkey face like mixed together. It's really weird, really odd, like uh, a like a marsupial kind of look look to it. And then you got these things; they look like dingoes, like wolves, like like crystal. Like, they they look like they would be wolves, but their fur is like crystallized or something. Gosh. This is going to be so freaking cool, this movie. I, I'm, I'm actually really excited for all of these new creatures, actually, the most. That's really cool. And, oh, see, right there. Nice. I love that. I love that. It's like a snow wolf or like a crystal wolf or something like that. Oh, that looks epic. And then people are, like, underwater and stuff. There's probably going to be some underwater scenes. Hopefully there's no Jar Jar Binks or none of that shit. 
Because I can't handle more any more of that stuff. And then there's this weird looking creature. I don't know what it is. It's like a, uh, like a frog mixed with like a slug. Looks weird. Or a sea cucumber mixed with a sea cucumber. It's, it looks really odd looking. Really odd looking. Okay, but there we go. Then that's, uh, Le, Le, was, is her name Lupita Nyong'o? She plays, uh, oh, so I guess, um, Maz Kanata is going to be in this movie too. Oh, and then more of Carrie Fisher. And I believe there's like a scene that's going to be like, um, there's like royals or something like that. Like high, high level, uh, people. There's going to be like a, some kind of a few scenes of that. I, I think I'm pretty sure in the movie. Oh my gosh. I'm just super excited. And then you got uh, Hux, uh, Gen General Hux, I believe that's his name, General Hux right there, boom, there you go. And then, um, let's keep going, and then this was John messing with uh, Ryan, saying that like, he doesn't know how to do like Chewbacca voice, which was pretty funny. He's like, mm -hmm. messing around, that was pretty funny. And then you got, uh, there you go, Chewie's face, and then you see Ray running, uh, with the lightsaber across like a uh, across a beach, a black sandy beach. That's what it looks like. Maybe it's maybe it's the uh, the same island. It's probably like the same island where she was training. But I was thinking in my head like maybe it's the island or the planet where uh, um, from Rogue One. That would have been really cool. But uh, it's def most likely it's not. See that she's running. Then you got Captain Phasma. I hope she, I hope Captain Phasma gets more like screen time, like to show like how badass she is. I really hope that they do something with that. And so, boom! And then there's Ray training by the uh, by the um from the teaser trailer. She's training by those rocks with uh, Luke probably on top over there. You got everybody laughing. Everybody's still cracking up and stuff. Not too much going on right here. You're seeing everybody, and then you see, uh, I love that new, that outfit that, uh, Luke has. It's like a dark brown, but also like a hint of like a, uh, mustard yellow kind of feel to it. I like that, that new look. I definitely love that. And then, uh, you got Carrie Fisher again. Every time I see her, it kind of looks badass, but I feel also a little sad about what's going on. Oh, and that's, I believe that's Finn. That's Finn uh, with the uh, asphyxiated um, machine on him. Some dude flipping. He looks like a uh, one of one of those bellhop boys. Dude's flipping. Something chaotic's gonna happen in that place. And then there's Kathleen, my girl. You just said you're doing such a great job. Oh my girl. And then there's girl. And then there's uh, what's his name? Benicia, Benicia del Toro. Yeah. I'm excited to see him too. See what what he brings to the game. Everybody's saying that uh, this this is like not that it's a standalone movie, but it it could be like its own thing, and it's like a new transition for characters and just everything. And then you got Mark Hamill smiling, my boy. I love it. There's John Boyega, and then there is um, then there's Adam Driver, Kylo Ren. He's, he's probably fight. He's he, there's gonna be like an awesome fight. Like this looks like it's going to be training because these two guys look like they're fighting him. But it looks like in the movie, then he's gonna be training with other. It looks like he's gonna be training with other people, or he's gonna be fighting uh, some more people. It looks like there's gonna be. I hope there's gonna be more than just. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I I I would like to see more um, lightsaber fights. Um, other characters, not just Kylo Ren, Luke, and Rey. That would be really cool to see, like, other people that have, like, lightsabers. That would be really, really epic. And then you got, boom, over here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man. Shoot, day one of 100. It, it, was, it was, they filmed it pretty fast. I gotta say. Oh, and this, and this scene... And this look, when I when I saw this, three on one, three on one, is she gonna fight? Th she's gonna th if Ray fights three people at once. Oh my gosh, this is going to be, it's gonna be wild. I'm excited about that. That looks amazing. If she's gonna fight three other people, but are those three people gonna have lightsabers? 
Because if they don't, how are they going to fight a lightsaber off? Except for, um, what's, what's that, uh, that stormtrooper from The Force Awakens that was able to fight, uh, Finn off? Because Finn had the lightsaber, but that stormtrooper didn't have the lightsaber, but it was like a vibrating, like, staff or something that he was hitting him with. Maybe those, maybe she's going to be fighting three stormtroopers at the same time. Oh my gosh, this is, this is the one thing that I got really excited about, because... She's fighting three on one. That looks so freaking cool. I love it. I love it. And then this looks like there's going to be like a lot of flipping and stuff. And then there's like this weird looking, uh, nasty ass looking creature, which looks, looks pretty gross. It looks more like aliens, aliens versus predator kind of, kind of look to him. Oh my gosh. And then this cute looking, uh, this cute looking creature, a new creature. There's a lot of new creatures now, which is really cool. Cause I think we, we did need that. So. That's awesome to see now. And what else? Oh yeah, this part it looks like they're going to be infiltrating uh, Finn and the uh, and the new girl. It looks like they're going to be infiltrating uh, probably some kind of um, first order stronghold or something. Okay. And then and then there's there's a bunch of Kylo Ren helmets. It looks like they're just like gonna be they're just props and stuff just to show like behind the scenes of what they do like if one gets like damaged and stuff they have a lot prepared and stuff so and then there's like an explosion I don't wear that oh yeah okay so that's like um it's like an explosion like or just like a um or just or just like a, a ship ready to take off or something so that's pretty cool and then there's some dude falling don't know what's going on here somebody's somebody's falling into a giant pit or something and then there's uh there there's poe kissing getting up on uh carrie fisher right there hey buddy oscar you gotta calm down all right so uh that one's pretty cool then you got bb8 my boy and then you have uh where's kylo there's like a small picture of kylo there you go boom and then he has the scar on his face and then um you see uh, you see Daisy Ridley training still. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. She's training in the staff. I hope that she eventually gets a double, a dual lightsaber, like, uh, like, um, Darth Maul, because, I mean, she started off with a staff, like, in The Force Awakens and everything, so I really hope that, uh, not only that she can wield, like, a lightsaber, but she can wield two and then put them together and, and use it as a staff. It would be so bomb. So bomb, and then there's these basically the one percent of the galaxy. I would say the rich people and stuff, the high class people, and everything. And then there's Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. I just get like, oh, she smile. Oh my gosh, them smiling together, bro, brother and sister. Man, I tell you, the space twins love them both. And then there's that new creature. It's like a, it's like a furry penguin. That's what it reminds me of. It's like a rodent mixed with a small little penguin. It looks freaking cute. I can't wait to see those. They're probably gonna be all over the island actually, because like all the rocks and stuff it reminds me of the island that they're gonna that they that uh, Ray and Luke are gonna be like training on and stuff. So that's gonna be pretty awesome to see. And then there's Luke, probably just chilling out, walking around and all this stuff filming them walking around and then an explosion at the uh that looks like a first order base or something like that and then ray's new outfit oh my gosh i love her with long hair because i mean i loved her uh hair in the uh in the force awakens and but, but this one it, it shows that she has is going through a lot because whenever i see like in any kind of show period Anybody with like, anybody that like gets long hair or like an a, a, like a full beard or something, it shows to me that they've been like through a lot. Uh, they got like a lot of experience or they've been training or just something like that. And just seeing Ray with long hair and it's sort of like a new outfit. It's more like all of it's gray instead of like that uh that pale. Uh, tanny white yellow kind of color that she had before 
she has like a belt and like uh these uh wristless kind of or these cufflet kind of things now um little a adding on to like her outfit and everything she got those boots and stuff it looks like a what kind of place it i don't think it's a snowy place i think it's all it's that new new uh planet or that yeah the new planet um with that like red smoke from those from those ships from uh, the teaser trailer and everything, but her outfit is so bomb. I'm act I actually like how they didn't change um, like the actual outfit, but they more more along the lines like changed the colors and everything uh, uh, from it. So I'm digging that. I'm I just I love her outfit. I'm so excited to see her again once more on the screen. And then you go there's Finn acting all like. John Boyega just doing his thing, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm so excited for Daisy Ridley and everything. So excited for Oscar Isaac. The new girl looks so awesome. She's so pretty. I love her. I I, sh I might have a new, like, uh, movie crush now, like, after I've seen her. Because I, I love Asian, Asian women. I love them so much. So, anyways, there you go. You got Kylo Ren or Adam Driver. You got Ryan Johnson directing this doof. And then you got Carrie Fisher what she said it's more it's like a family the story is going to be is about like family or something oh my gosh and then this and then this picture of her that's what's so powerful about it it's about family and then her her face right there she looks freaking adorable it looks so funny oh man star wars the last jedi oh but <laughs> and then it's a, it's a rap instead of it's a trap Oh my boy, you funny dude, you funny dude. Admiral Akbar, you are funny. And then and then that and then that is the end of the behind the scenes. And pretty sweet. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. So anyways, that is it for this one. So that again, I don't know why I said that again. But yeah, that is it for this one. Like the video if you did. Like the video. If you were happy with the behind the scenes slash not really like teaser trailer or anything because there's no, there wasn't anything that was like crazy like Easter eggs and stuff except for new uh, creatures that I'm excited about. I am super hyped about that stuff. And um, yeah, that's like I think that might be the most thing the thing that I'm most excited about is about those things and then Ray. I don't know why. But it was just her hair. It was just long, her long hair that just got me excited for some reason. And I'm just like, because it shows that, like, she has been training and stuff. That's what I see, that she's been training and she's getting more experience with, like, the Force and everything. And that's just, I, I believe that's what happens when you're, like, more in tune. Because uh, Anakin got long hair and then he lost all of his hair because it got burned out by, uh, by Obi-Wan. Thank you, my boy. And, um, yeah, and then Obi-Wan growing a beard by the, uh, the second movie and then the third movie in, uh, in the prequels and stuff. And then you got Luke with the beard and long hair and everything. So, you know, over time, gaining all those, like, beard, like, a beard and long hair, it's, like, just shows experience and everything. And I'm really hyped for Rey. Hopefully she doesn't grow a beard or nothing. But anyways, yeah, that is it for this one. Like the video if you did. Like the video if you liked uh, the behind the scenes and everything. Comment down below on your thoughts and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and theory discussion videos and things like that. So gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sassy, most importantly, everybody, you gotta stay alone, nasty, alright? So peace and love, and I'll see you all later in the next video. Peace out.